Hi, this is Mike from the Deck Network, and today, first of all, let me introduce my, my guest, Dave Montoya, the CEO of Stonemakers International. Dave, how are you doing today? Good to be here, man. Okay, now, usually on the Deck Network, it's all decks all the time, but in the last few years, we've seen the integration of hardscapes with decks, and Dave, as we said, is, is with Stonemakers International. Dave, why don't you tell us a little bit about what Stonemakers does? Well, Stonemakers Corporation's uh, basically a, uh, back in the day. I, you know, I've been in the masonry business and landscaping business, and uh, kind of Stonemakers is where the masons and concrete guys and all the landscape guys all come together into this product because it has everything from uh, you know masonry products to you know regular concrete products. Mm -hmm. We bring the concrete in, and of course the design of a landscape, which is the creativity of landscaping. Mm -hmm. And of course that you have so many creative stuff. I was you know I was really amazed to come and see the uh, your showroom and how much you've done with it. And you guys just barely got out of the training, and yeah. you've gotten you know, Kevin and you guys, your crew, have just mm -hmm. been so creative with this. So uh, that's kind of what Stonemakers is, is, mm -hmm. is about. And, uh, you know, I know you guys are integrating this into what yeah. you have already. Yeah, yes. So it's a good marriage. Yes. And uh, Dave's company, let's just look at some photos. So we, it's, it's decorative concrete. And years ago, when we used to build decks with just wood, then we started putting plastic in with the decks. Now, Dave, when I met Dave, he says, well, we're putting a plasticizer in with the cement. It's the same thing. We're using a plasticizer to make the cement much stronger, last longer. It's, it's stronger, say, for, for instance, retaining walls. It's, you, you're not going, you, you have it out of blocks, it's not going to last. Well, tell us a little bit about your... Uh, well, um and, and let me just kind of clarify, yeah. uh, kind of just clarify. Uh, we use polymers in the concrete. Yes. Polymers is uh, real similar to what you're talking about yeah. as far as plastic goes. <clears throat> a pla plastic or a polymer, something that binding, a binding agent yes. really brings it together. And it really, it makes it kind of clay-like so you can actually do things as you did when you were a kid with Plaster of Paris and yeah. stuff. But now we're getting a product that is a very viable product and something that uh, you can put in a backyard and it will last you for, you know, as long as you have your backyard there. Uh, something that is just not only durable, but it looks really pleasing. People go to, you know, Disney World or they go to all these theme parks and you know, they go to Cancun or wherever and they see these big old waterfalls in the pools and stuff they go, wow, wish we could have that. But they come home and they just got a guy, a bunch of guys that can do blocks and rocks. Yeah. You know, no offense but that's all that's out yeah. there. So the market has been nothing but blocks, real rocks, and I mean, they're very evasive, very heavy, very, I mean, very difficult to, to and they become very expensive. Mm -hmm. So if you can make something that is like the Disney World thing, and now they make it better with the new texture molds that we have and the replication of real rocks, and then bring it to, on, a, on, a, on an affordable level, people go, not only can I afford it, but I can do something that, that look, makes my backyard look like a resort. Yes, and, and when yeah. I got out of, uh, like, uh, we've been to trainings and we've learned a lot about it, and by listening to Dave, we can almost have a resort style water feature that's affordable for your own home. And so that's really what we're trying to do. You know, this type of thing is just, before, you know, only ones you saw were in Vegas, you know, waterfalls, because they did the old GFRC, which was glass fiber reinforced concrete. And glass fiber reinforced concrete has been around for 40, 50 years, but there was only select companies that actually did that. So you'd go to resorts and go, wow, how did they get that? Is that a real rock or what is it? And it was a replication of real rock. They take a mold of a real rock, mm -hmm. they put in GFRC on a, into a mold, mm -hmm. They pop that after it cures. It's very heavy, and they put it together with all the different things. Even it's lightweight compared to rocks, though. Mm -hmm. So it's the next generation. This right here goes beyond. We have a hybrid mix now that actually goes in, and it's it's a, you know almost a third the 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 weight of the old GFRC, but it's stronger. It's about a 12,000, 10 to 12,000 psi pounds per square inch. Mm -hmm. And in 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 GFRC is glass fiber reinforced concrete. So it's a non-alkaline fiber that actually, you know, you talked about uh, plastic and the thing, mm -hmm. polymer. But this new product we have, though, it's a hybrid composite mix that has no, and I'm, I don't mean to get so technical here, but it has no polymer in it, and it reduces the efflorescence. When I met with Disney World the other day, uh, they were really interested in our products. But the biggest thing that they saw about what we have is we have a product that doesn't have hardly any efflorescence. Efflorescence is that leaching white stuff that comes mm -hmm. out of concrete. And, you know, they have that big old Matterhorn. And that thing, every single year, they pay almost a, th a million dollars to get that thing. To not every year, about every two years, they have to strip the thing back down, try to get all the fluorescence out, and uh, and redo it. And it just really becomes uh, expensive and just a mess. So this new product is, is something I think is going to really take it by storm. Why don't we get into look at some pictures? And sure. uh, and Dave, you can uh, you can show us what we're doing here. Well, this is uh, this is uh, pictures of, uh, of of a yard we did that is it has a pool. 
And of course we did the decking and you can see the overhang. Look at this log here. They actually won an award for the, the, war, the log slide that we did. And then it has the waterfalls. And all this is all panels uh, that we did. You know, they replicated off a of real rock and we put into there. And I can, I, can, I can get out of here and show you some other ones uh, okay. that we have in here. And it's, it's, it's been really a lot of fun. This is uh, actually a, a, a picture of some of the vertical mix that we do. And this is... Um, a vertical mix. We actually did the vertical mix over this. So actually, it's concrete, but when it's done, of course, it looks amazing. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And we have a new panel mix. It looks like real rock. In fact, I, I brought some of the product to show you, and it's just Is really... this wood? No, it's actually concrete. See, it looks like wood, but it, it, he makes it look with the graining of the wood. It looks like an old reclaimed beam. Yes, exactly. And of course, here's the waterfall that we built, and it looks really nice, and we added on to this. This is a very large waterfall. It's almost eight foot to the top from down here, about eight foot... Uh, uh, but I'm going to go a little further. And of course, we do our walls. So you can see the retainer walls. This was all done with no forms. And we did the patio and everything. Um, and we go a little further. And we said, you know what? That's that class. This class uh, we actually did a, a big, nice waterfall. That waterfall is beautiful. But we said, you know, let's take it to the next level and let's go a little bit nicer with it. And let's, let's expand it. So we did. And there's the panels. These are the hybrid uh, panel mix. The, mm -hmm. This stuff is just amazing. I love it. And of course, we're, we're, we're see the molds here. These these molds here are from real rock. Let's look at back one of the frame pictures, so the people on the uh, that are watching can see what you're doing here. There, this looks like a large stone put placed here with a, maybe a, a rigging company, yeah. but it's not. It's hollow and it has metal inside it. So here's the frames. In fact, we'll show you. See the frames behind there. It looks great. Yeah, so there's some of the, the frames that to go there, and they have the plumbing with the pipe, the water's going to go up in there. So that comes in there, you see the panels behind it, you say, well, that's really thin, it looks kind of cheap, it's actually extremely rigid and extremely strong. Uh, this is how, you, the, a lot of the casinos in, in uh, Vegas are done out of this, a lot of the resorts, you don't realize it, but you know, it's just, it's wire and rebar and, and frame stuff behind that. Uh, we just have a, 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 this new panel mix, which is uh, this panel problems, uh, 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 these new panels are just much more, they're stronger, a little bit more rigid, and they have great textures on them. Here we are, uh, we mold the stuff together, as you can see. It's like a, a, like a putty, like a clay, mm -hmm. but it takes to itself, because it's, non it's, not, it's a non-polymer, but it's actually, it, it's actually a, a hybrid uh, a matrix, so it actually adheres to itself, almost like a, 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 a resin. So here we are. And we, we, we added a rock to it. So let's see how we added on here. You can see see the molds here? They just came off of that. Mm -hmm. And so this was taken off of a real cliff rock yeah. up in the mountains. And we, that's what it looked like. So let's see. So let me say, you went up to a, into a mountainous area. Mm -hmm. And you, I'm sure you had some sort of permit to do this. Because yes, you can't did. do that. It's and you, you, made a, you put a latex or some sort of plastic on top of a rock, dried it a little, pulled it off, and you have a rock there. That's right. And it takes, it's a little bit, I mean, it takes a good week to make a, a one mold. Mm -hmm. And that's just a mother mold. Then you got to go back and reverse it. Then in the factory, we make a, a mother mold set. And then we, pay, we pour this really rigid mold set that goes into it. And uh, then you pour your your, your uh, panel mix into that, and that's what you come out with. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a good little process. Oh yeah! But it's awesome. And now look at that. That guy's standing up on top of that. It's only that thing, but I mean the that's, guy. It's strong. Oh, it's very strong. And see how we make that that rock there looks like just a separate rock. And as we color it, look at the moss in there. I mean, people would love to have this in their backyard. They, sure. I mean, I I love, have it in my backyard. I love it. It's uh, the water features are just amazing. Look at that when it's all done. That's just incredible. Dude. Now, you look at it, look at the separate rocks in here. It's just really a lot of, uh, look, you can see right through it. It looks like a big, to get a 10-ton boulder to hang it up yeah. over on something yeah. like that would be almost impossible. But with this right here, you can do just crazy things. And it looks, I mean, people come to the backyard and look what you have. They go, oh, my God, it's the Playboy Mansion yeah. or, you know, whatever you have, or the yeah. grotto and stuff like that. Well, now you can do it with this. Mm -hmm. Whereas before, you, you, you'd have to get a rock that big. You'd have to have a rock company get you a bunch, of, you know I mean, with cranes mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It, it's just way too expensive and intrusive and so now with this right here you can do that type of stuff. Look at these guys standing up and see how, show how how rigid that product is and you got the whole crew standing up on top of there. Okay so I see yeah, you know, definitely you love these uh, the waterfalls are beautiful but you do a lot of stuff. Let's just look at some of the walls like the, that you do. Absolutely absolutely that's uh this is uh um, okay we'll cut this. Yes yeah, so we can cut this mm -hmm. so let me get to the We're going to try to stay in here because I want this to be as big as I can. Okay. I don't want to crop you out. No, no problem. We got it. Yeah. Here we go. 
I think the biggest side of any kind of landscaping or design, I think, is always to have a design or an idea. You know, in what you're doing with here, you're you're a visionary. I noticed, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Mike, and and that's hard to find. But you know, when people go out and they go to a yard, they go, "What are you guys looking to do here?" Well, we're looking to do this and that, but we need some mm -hmm. ideas. And ideas are one of the most the most important commodity of anything. Ideas. People just want a good idea what to do. When you can sit and go draw something in the backyard, then they go, wow. So here's an idea that we did with walls mm -hmm. uh, coming up the thing there. And when, when I drew this, uh, they were able to see that type of stuff. And you guys have that service where yes. you can draw something to yes. somebody and show them something really incredible. And, and they get that. Instead of looking at bird's eye view, anybody look at a bird's eye with a bunch of little circles and go, okay, that's what a, a landscape architect mm -hmm. did. But they're like, it looks nice, but what is it going to look like when it's all done? What Dave and I can do is that we can go to a house and because I've always been a, a carpenter and Dave is in the in the masonry is that we can see something that's not there where a lot of people don't aren't they don't have that ability to see that yeah they have a, a little bit of idea what they want and then when you draw it up and you show it you go that's what I was looking yeah, for yeah. Mm -hmm. so we just kind of bring it to reality and then we're able to bring it to real reality mm -hmm. when we yeah. when we install it so there's some of the walls now this is just a concrete wall, and, and but yet when it's done, that's what it looks like when it's all colored up and finished. And that looks like real rocks that you took. And how out many today. days did that take? This took a total of eight hours. Okay. Now uh, I'm a rock mason from back in the day. That would have taken me a good week, mm -hmm. week and a half sometimes. So you're cutting down the time yeah. quite a bit. Rocks cost a lot more than than cement does. So we're looking at being able to make something that looks absolutely beautiful at a and a much significant less. That's price. right. A lot less price, uh, time wise. Oh my gosh. When you I can go in and out. The guy went to work in the morning. Came back in the evening, afternoon and then you got it colored and done. Mm -hmm. Now that doesn't happen all the time, but most of the time mm -hmm. we can usually do it in about yeah. two days. A wall like this was about 40 feet by four foot high and it, it looks to this day, this is up in uh, uh, Massachusetts actually, you look at that today and it looks exactly the just same. as good. It mm -hmm. even looks aged, even had a little moss in between the thing there, so it's just a great product. Mm -hmm. It's monolithic, it has all the drainage and everything and of course we've proved this out in the freeze thaw area up in New Hampshire where you know, mm -hmm. or even out here where you get, you get the weather. You know, back yeah. west you don't even have to worry about it much. Uh, there's the happy customer there. And of course here's some other products. Uh, let me move forward. This was uh, before and uh, that's after. That looks great. And uh, we can mimic almost any kind of rock. Let me get to some, that's before. His whole house, we did the foundation and everything, and this is after. So there's before, and this was three days later, finished. Looks great. Looks pretty nice, no? Yeah. And of course, later on, he put the, uh, you can even put veneer. We have a veneer rock. You put it over, you can put it all into that panel and everything. Yeah, the verticals. That's, the vertical. a, that's another thing. Let's, do, let's take a look at some of those. We things. can look at that. Uh, yeah. Let me, let me uh, this is some of the water features. Uh, but there, there's some more of the walls. Mm -hmm. So you can do a lot of the gray stone. Yeah. We can do a lot of those. Uh, uh, what's nice about, you know, what we can do here, Mike, is that we can actually curve a wall. Mm -hmm. And you talk about strength when you do curving. Engineering wise, there's nothing as strong as a curved wall than a sure. flat wall, you know. Mm -hmm. So. Look how cool that is. And you can do that because we're basically sculpting the concrete. Yeah. We're putting up a wall without any forms. You know, you know people ask about the weather. Well, here's a, a yeah. waterfall in the middle of winter time. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, it doesn't, you know, the walls are great. Uh, this is some of the, and you can look at some of the age. Look at that. It looks like old granite rock. Yeah. It, 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 this is just cement, but Dave can make it look with spring and blacks and whites and make it look like granite. And we were uh, when we went to a training, we went and looked at a real granite wall, and then we looked at one of the walls that Dave made, and his wall looked better. Yeah, here's another yeah. style there. Yeah. Let's go a little further. We did the old man in the mountain yeah. there and the stuff, and so. Um, so if you want to see more about about Dave's company, Stonemakers, just go to Stonemakers.com. Stonemakers.net. Dot net. Okay. Dot and net. there are literally hundreds of YouTube videos and photographs of all this type of stuff. Yeah, these are actually some of the gr grill and stuff you're going to be putting out yeah, here. Yeah, we're going to so do we're going to do some of that work here. Talk about some of the veneer and the the grill stuff like that's awesome. This is big right now. Everybody wants a oh, yeah. grill in their backyard with that. So, so we're going to we're going to want to do something just like that. All right, that pretty much wraps it up. Again, we had uh, Dave came to visit me, and I said, well, we have to do a little video. Thanks for coming by. Good, good, good yeah. to be okay. here, man. Awesome job. Okay, thanks, and uh, again, see you in another episode of the Deck Network. Have a great day.